Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first edition of the new year inside Camel Sports. This is a place for your look at everything Campbell University Athletics. I'm your host, Chris Amire, coming to you from inside beautiful Gore Arena. And joining me now is head men's basketball coach Robbie Lang. And coach, gosh, what a good start to the new year so far. First year in the Big South Conference. You guys are near the top right now at four and one. What has been the secret to your success in the conference so far? Well, uh, it really helped us that we played at home early on. Uh, we, we had two games early in December. Our, our students and, and our fan base has been just very instrumental in, in our success early and, and energized us, particularly down the stretch against High Point for our second win in the Big South Conference. And uh, then we come home, and while the students weren't here, we still had a nice crowd and, and took uh, Coastal uh, Carolina in overtime. And, and we go on the road and get a split, which is, uh, you know, what you want to do at the very least when you're playing in conferences is get a split in a two-game stretch. So here we sit four and one, one game out of first place with a chance to be in first place pretty quickly here. You know, this is a team that has a little bit of a different look, and although we're almost three months into the season now, they're familiar faces to you and I, but maybe for some that haven't paid too terribly much attention yet, uh, a couple of the newcomers that have made immediate impact have been freshman Trey Freeman and junior college transfer Darren White. We'll start with Darren. He comes in uh, from junior college. Of course, he started uh, his freshman year playing in the CAA, but he comes in, and all he's doing is leading the Big South in scoring. Well, it, it's really incredible, and, and you just don't know when you're coaching a guy in the preseason how, how he's really going to fit in and how things are going to turn out, but it's been uh, quite a highlight reel to watch him play. Uh, he bombs it from three-point range. He, he, has, uh, he and Trey both have great mid-range games, and then you add to that with Darren some electrifying dunks, and I don't know what his count is right now, but... He, he has certainly been a highlight reel in, in all three of those categories. Trey Freeman is a freshman, and, and Coach, as you know, at the Division I level, doesn't matter what league you play in, it's tough for freshmen to come in, not only to start uh, in Division I, but to make an impact. Trey has been within the top ten in all freshmen in the entire country mm -hmm. in scoring. He leads the Big South in scoring, and he's been the point guard that has run your team this year. Well, it's, it's just incredible that you get that maturity level. And you, you cited how difficult it is for a freshman to be involved. And you compound that when you make it a point guard or a quarterback issue in football for a guy to pick things up as quickly as he has to contribute, and not only contribute, but really carry us at times, and even on the road. Uh, you know, when we go to the, to the tournament early in the year, we beat Iowa on the road. I mean, he was the most composed player on the court that night. And uh, it's just been really, really uh, enjoyable to, to coach a guy like that. And, and it sure keeps me on the, on the edge of my seat and keeps me constantly trying to prepare to enhance not only Trey's ability to contribute to our team, but uh, to try to be ready for the entire team because we, we've got some pieces, and we're starting to fit them together, and it could be a lot of fun down the stretch. One big piece that is a familiar name and face, although it's just his second year in this program, is senior Eric Griffin, of course, coming to us from junior college last year. He had a highlight reel full of dunks last year, has it this year as well. But, Coach, his scoring average is up seven points. He's become a great defender uh, down at the block at times. He's averaging nearly a double-double. He has really kind of come back and, um, and really improved his game between junior year and senior year. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think his numbers could be even better if he weren't plagued with foul trouble at times. And uh, when we can keep him on the court, he is definitely a factor offensively and defensively. When he doesn't block shots, he changes shots. And uh, that's a nice luxury to have. Uh, most teams don't have that sitting behind the perimeter players ready to, to enforce the paint. But we, we have actually put four guys on the perimeter around him offensively and, and just insisted on throwing the ball inside. And when he gets open down there, um, as you mentioned earlier, it can be a lot of fun to watch how he finishes a play. It has been an unbelievable and exciting first two months of the season. Campbell with an 8-1 and one start off to their best start in almost four decades. Definitely their best start as a Division I program. It included a win 
at the Big Ten's Iowa uh, at their place in Iowa City and also a home win against East Carolina, plus a 4-1 and one start in the Big South. If you missed some of it, here is some of the best, the highlight reel from the first two months of play for Campbell basketball. Ferguson throws it up top to Griffin, beating the press. Griffin with the dunk! And you can put that on a poster.
Well, Coach, as we just saw, it has been a great start to the season. You guys sit uh, in second place in the Big South Conference as we tape this show at 4-1. and one. And gosh, what a big game. Uh, this Thursday, back here at home, Gore Arena, UNC Asheville comes in. They are 5-0 and oh in the conference. They went to the NCAA tournament last year. They were picked to win the conference this year. It's going to be a heck of a game. And, and what are you going to have to do to get these guys? Well, they have what most college basketball teams have if they're truly uh, contenders for a league championship, and they have great guards. Uh, their point guard, their second guard, they both have the green light. They penetrate. They shoot the three. Uh, they lead the team in uh, the intangible areas that, that are needed, and uh, we're, we're going to have to take those two guys out of the game. There, there's no question about it. And, and if you go back to last year, Chris, they've won eight straight Big South games. So we've won seven in a row at home. They've won eight straight overall in the league, uh, one of those streaks is, is coming to an end. And uh, uh, we can get them, get them in here. That would certainly give us a big lift uh, as we head to the end of the year in our hopes of hosting the Big South Conference Tournament. And what a difference it makes here at home. This is the now uh, fourth year here of Gore Arena. And you can see that the people are coming out, the, the students are coming out. And it really is, as we've seen in games this year, a home court advantage. And that's got to be good. Well, that, that's so pleasing to me. Years ago when I came here, we, we had a long, a long road uh, ahead of us to, to build a program. Uh, and, you know, when we started having some success and getting some teams in, in to Bowie's Creek like East Carolina uh, and some of the league leaders when we were in the A-Sun, East Tennessee, you know, teams would, uh, would attract crowds and, and people wanted to see the opposing team play as, as much as they did Campbell. But now people come to watch uh, Campbell University play basketball. And, and that's so gratifying that we have a fan base. Uh, gosh, I, I bet we took 2,000 to Raleigh, if, if not more, uh, to, to play NC State. And those moments are really, really special. And uh, not only are they here, it's not like they're watching tennis matches and, and clapping. We have people, uh, students in all kind of garb and outfits and uh, body suits. And, uh, I mean, they're into the game, and, and it's truly become a, 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 an atmosphere. And I see some of the more prominent people in our community uh, letting their hair down and having a lot of fun. And that's, that's really, really exciting to uh, see this kind of growth in the Campbell program. Well, we hope to see everybody right here at Gore Arena coming up uh, this Thursday, the 12th. Again, it'll be a battle for first place in the Big South Conference as UNC Asheville comes into town. And then another conference game here in the Big South, Gardner-Webb. The running Bulldogs uh, come in on Saturday. That's a 1 o'clock game. And then the next home game coming up a week from this Saturday on the 21st against VMI. We hope to see you here. If we don't, for head coach Robbie Lang, I'm Chris Amar saying we'll talk to you next week on another edition of Inside Camel Sports.